What's up guys, Mike here, the Detroit Borg, and we're getting really close to the Gold Master release of iOS 10, so the changes are becoming very minor. So with the fifth beta, the biggest change here seems to be another sound effect, and that is the lock screen sound effect. So when you lock the device, you get a completely new sound effect. Personally, I'm not a huge fan of it, but I'll let you guys listen to it so you can tell me what you think. Now, if you remember from the fourth beta, we also got some new keyboard sounds and they're a bit louder now on the iPhone. They're about the same level on the iPad, so at least with the iPhone, they're more audible. Another very minor change here is a new AirPlay icon or output icon. So this appears either within the Apple Music app in the now playing screen or within the control center for your media controls and other parts of the system. So again, just a new icon to indicate the presence of available devices on the network which you can cast your music or video to. Once again, they've made another tweak to the widget panel. So once again, if you swipe to the right, you'll see all of your widgets. This time, third party widgets will actually be displayed in a darker color which distinguishes them from the system app. The fifth beta also resets the facial recognition in the Photos app. So once you update, this process will have to be rerun and it takes some time. The iPhone has also lost the home section under the settings app while the iPad retains it. And that's because the iPad can act as a home hub for your home kit devices while the iPhone can't. Alrighty guys, so I hope you enjoyed this very brief look at the fifth beta of iOS 10. If there's a sixth beta, I'll keep updated with a video as well. But of course, I've done several videos on iOS 10 and I'll leave a playlist linked in the description below if you wanna check out everything that's new. And until the next release, I'll see you in the next video.